Recorded where cultures are Bronze Age Indo-European speaking cultures deriving from male Western stepherders that mixed with female global amphora and funnel beakers. Their male heritage comes from Western stepherders and female heritage from the farmer cultures of Europe. The lack of surviving male funnel beaker and globular amphora lineages in, in corded ware suggests that Western stepherder men committed genocide against the farmer men in Europe. The corded ware culture is also known as single grave culture, which comes from the burials associated with this culture. The dead would be buried in single graves, crouched with some artifacts. The battle axe culture, one of the cultures associated with the corded ware horizon, is known for the fact that their burials contained axes in the grave. The corded ware culture is named such because twisted cord was impressed into wet clay to create various de decorative patterns and motifs. It is known mostly from its burials and both sexes received the characteristic cord decorated pottery. Wheat and barley were found at corded ware site in Poland, suggesting farming was practiced by this culture. Corded ware people mostly relied on cattle herding though and drank milk. Of Bronze Age Europeans, the corded ware culture possessed the most derived alleles that correlate with lactose tolerance. Now let's talk about their Y-DNA haplogroups. Early corded individuals had all subclades of R1A, including R1A Z93. However, Z93 had all but disappeared in Eastern Europe by the Iron Age. How come? A reduction in male haplogroup diversity over time is the answer. Reducing from five different lineages in early corded ware to a single dominant lineage R1A M417 in late corded ware Eastern Europe. The authors suggest that males of this haplogroup had around 15% more surviving offspring per generation compared to other males, which may have been caused by selection, social structure, or influx of non-local R1A M417.